All right, we are back with another episode of playing through Golden Sun: The Last Age. Uh, last time we left off, I believe we just finished um, Magma Rock. That's right. And so now we um, we need to head up to. There's a town that's like up this path here. Um, not this one, actually. This is not the town I was thinking of. But uh, we'll stop here anyway, because there's got to be something here, right? Huh. Just walk around the fence here. There we go. Oh, there's a treasure chest in here. Uh, it's just some stardust that's for, like, taking to the blacksmith. I don't think there's anything of actual importance here. Like, there's no gin. There's, um... I don't know, this is a completely skippable village. I think. What do these kids want? There was a giant explosion on the rock... On the rock the other night? I couldn't get back to sleep at all. They must be talking about, uh... Magma Rock, right? So yeah, that's a this is just a strange little single house family that's just chilling out here in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, we are going around because we are looking for a particular um, village. It's going to be by the ocean, actually. Here's the ocean. Am I not in the right place? Uh, oh, no. I need to be down here, I think. I think? No. It's somewhere up here. Pretty sure it's to the north. It's gonna be a village where we're gonna get a cannon for our ship. Um, down here. Here we go. This is the where we want to be. Okay, let's check out the shop first, I guess. Oh, it's just a regular item shop. I got stuff to sell. Mm. Sell this. All this stuff I need to take to the blacksmith. Yeah. I guess I'm good. Um, what about this? Is this like a... Oh, no. It's just the end. Okay. We're going to get that gin. And we're going to get a cannon. We're going to get this cannon. We're going to get that magma ball that we got from the... Jeez, I'm getting the name Magma Rock. <laughs> We're gonna blow up a wall. <laughs> Is everyone alright? Did you hear that? That sound was incredible. What do you think you're doing making all that noise? Hey, look at that! <laughs> what? What are you looking at? It wasn't me. It was the wall. Look at the wall! Oh, the wall, it's gone. Well, it's mostly gone. Yeah, you can get through to the other side now. How'd you manage to break down the wall? Ah, uh, never mind. What's important here is that we can dig on the other side of the wall now. Yeah, who cares how it happened? We can dig again. Well, you did what we asked, so the cannon's all yours. He's like a dwarf village that lives above ground that they like to dig? I don't know, this is weird. Hmm, it's gonna be tough carrying this thing around, that thing around. Those guys are new in town, aren't they? Do you think they came from Ateca or Hesperia? I don't know, but I can tell you they came by boat. He's gonna climb up high so we can get a better look. Yeah, I saw one anchored off the beach. That boat's yours, isn't it? Well, why don't you let us get that can onto your boat for you, huh? Yeah, that's gonna take them a while. At least until they get off screen, in which case they're gone. Let's go check out the other side of this wall. Ooh, there's a thing here.
Gonna scoop, get a golem core, eventually take that to the blacksmith. Garrett, need you to lift. Scoop. Another golem core. Here's that gin. We're in town, so there's it's not gonna attack us. We're just gonna get free. Isaac. Oh lol, that's a good one. Uh negotiate a temporary ceasefire. So oh man, I got more wind gin than I know what to do with. Um, so basically what that one does is it's not a priority decision. Uh so It'll just get used whenever the person's turn comes up, and when that comes up, it ends the round. So, like, the enemy won't attack, your, your other characters won't attack. Um, so, if you can put it, if you can have, like, your slowest person use it, and your slowest person also happens to be faster than all the enemies, then you can basically get, like, a free round of attacks in without uh, the enemy doing anything. So, it can be a very useful gen. You don't have anything to worry about. We got the cannon onto your ship with no problems. Now we're going to start excavating the ground north of the wall you knocked a hole in. Well, I already grabbed a couple of things, if you guys don't mind. Okay. Uh, I believe this is also... I believe this is also the spot that is a glitch. So, I shouldn't really be here. If I jump off my ship at that exact spot, then I'm basically in part of the game that was Golden Sun 1. Uh, I believe Babby's cave was around here somewhere. And, um, let's see, if I travel this way. Yeah, this is where um, Babby's town in Colosso and the ship dock would have been. Uh, there would normally be a cave over there to get back to the other side of the sea. Um, down here, I would go down to the desert. If uh, this all looks familiar. But basically, I'm just I'm just wasting time here. Yeah, this is the desert that you would normally go through. But yeah, there's nothing here. You're not supposed to be here. Um, you can, in fact, I think go all the way back to Vale. Um, if you walk the right paths. Oh yeah, I think you can walk around the sea up top and then go back up to Vale. But again, there's nothing there. Oops, the Void's Effect wore off. Because you're not supposed to... This is just a glitch to get to the old part of the map. Um, but yeah, there's no towns or anything um, because, again, you're not supposed to be here. So I'm basically just wasting time now. So I'll head back to my ship and we will continue. Although we will get into a regular... Random battle, it seems. Purgatory! Bam! Okay, I guess I'll recast uh, Avoid to uh, speed things up a bit. But yeah, I just thought I'd show that off. Easy to do. Uh, you do also have to remember where you parked. Because <laughs> it could be... Um, Quite amazed to get back to your ship if you don't uh, remember how to get back there. Okay. Uh, let me see. Where do we want to go next? Um. Let's just go ahead and head north. Why not? Oh wait, I think there's like a is there an optional dungeon over here or something? I feel like there's something over here, actually. Yeah, here we go. Angara Cavern. Oh, well, this is gonna be interesting. You're gonna think it's like an endless looping room, right? But it's not. <laughs> Wait a minute, do I need something for this? Oh, no. I just walked into the door. What the heck was that? I don't know why I couldn't uh, move in at first. Um, 
So, I don't know, the game can be kind of, um, can be kind of, uh, particular about how, um, carry blocks work. I think if they're stacked on top of each other, I actually can't move them. So I'm gonna have to drop the other one first, and then move it on top of the other one. Contrary to, uh, the way we did it with that, um, item quest and that, getting up to that bird thing. But yeah, these, these are like actual carry blocks, unlike the other blocks that were just boxes shaped like carry blocks. And now we can go across to get the uh, new summon. What is this one? Horus. This one is cool. In fact, um, if it's what I'm thinking of, the boss of the game has like an attack that kind of acts like it. Like in the first Golden Sun, the final boss had a move that was like Meteor, where the dragon basically just jumped to the sky and came down like Meteor does. It's kind of like the same animation, but instead of a Meteor, it's, it's the boss. Um, I believe Hara's, it's like, this monster with claws, I think? Maybe, I don't know. And maybe I'm imagining the whole thing about the final boss of this game having a move similar to it. That's just what I think is going to happen if I remember. We're gonna stop another town, get another gin. We're just gonna pick an apple. Using a move from Golden Sun 1. A lot of little things in this part of the game that uh, if you didn't transfer your data over, you know, you're gonna miss out on a few little things. Ooh, 522, holy cow. Uh, wow, Isaac, why are you lacking an attack power there? But um, we will be going for 100% in this game, so um, what I'm planning to do is we'll probably go north and uh, we'll complete a certain amount of the final dungeon before we um, go back and get some other things that, uh, like the optional dungeons and stuff. We'll do all those things um, before we go to the final boss. That's the way I prefer to do it. And the ending sequence to this game is super long. Um, like, I'm trying to think, the final episode might just be an hour of just the final boss and then the end credits. And even that, I don't know if I can do that in an hour. I feel like the ending sequence alone, well, I don't know. I know it's, I know being the game is like an hour long thing. I don't remember if that includes the boss fight or not. Oh, whoops. I can't zoom out because we're technically like not on the world map anymore. But I wanted to zoom out to like see around these rocks, but I can't. Oh, whoops. I uh, overestimated the uh, health on that monster. All right, I got a new water gin. I didn't even look at it. Gel. Weaken a foe's attack. Okay, not bad. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely missing some gin because uh, I'm out of order here. But I think there's at least two of the um, final dungeons can't be entered until we've entered and made some progress in the final dungeon up here. Which, I guess it's not a spoiler now. It's going to be Mars Lighthouse. Kraken, come look at this. There's a huge wall blocking our path. Nothing to worry about, Jenna. We'll just have to use that cannon we got in Loho. That's right. If the cannon can blast away a stone wall, think what it'll do to ice. Felix, take us between those two blocks of ice for shelter when you fire the cannon. Right. These little two blocks here are going to protect us from shrapnel. We should be safe if we fire from this distance. Okay, here we go, Felix. Aim right at the ice wall and fire when ready. 
Fire the magma ball. Great, we did it. We can keep going now. All right, let's head for the Northern Seas. Let's go. All right, here we are. And we are now in the frozen land of Prox. Felix, welcome back to Prox. It looks like only Mars Lighthouse still needs lighting. Agadio didn't think you'd be coming back here, so I'm a little surprised to see you. Once the final lighthouse is lit, the winds should weaken. They keep getting stronger, though. Uh, let's see, there's going to be a few things to get in town here. At least one gin. Uh, I'm not sure about anything else. Oh, some dark matter. That's going to be nice. Going to need to take this to the blacksmith. Also, traveling is going to be a lot easier once we uh, get through the uh, Mars Lighthouse. Like, we won't, I won't have to be sailing the ship, flying the ship around all the time to get back to old places anymore uh, once we get through here. Kind of, I would think that would anger the djinn, that I kind of knocked it back to a wall and some snow fell on top of it, top of it and buried it. But uh, because we're in town, we're not going to fight it, so. Mold. Here we go. One for Isaac. Nice stat boosts. What does this djinn do? Strike a foe? Cool. Um, I don't think there's anything here. Although it looks very suspicious. I just don't think there's anything here. I don't know what would do anything here if there was. Oh well. Those are some cool flags animated in the snowstorm here. Ooh, shop. Although I doubt they're going to have anything good for us, right? Oh, mist potions. Aren't those rare? Like, if I go to sell it... This is quite a find. I think that makes it an artifact, right? Oh, this is a weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Mist Potion. And it is an artifact, like there's only two available to buy. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny to have an artifact, because artifacts... Basically, artifacts are supposed to be limited in supply kind of um, items. And so the fact that um, I can buy Mist Potions just off the shelf here is kind of uh, an oddity. Like, I can't do that with Waters of Life or uh, other potions. Because once I buy those, they're gone. These are all old weapons, right? I think so. Oh. Um, these are old, right? Yeah, no one's going to want this, right? Just trying to look. Oh. Shiba would like that one. Cursed Thunder Crown. Don't think I want that. Nah. I'm going to save all the cursed weapons for Isaac now. These are all old. Pretty sure nobody wants any of this stuff. Me robe? Nope. Oh, oh, iris robe. Ah, jeez. Wasting money here. Buying stuff back that I just sold. P. 
Pure circlets? Nope. Okay, just checking. Um, yeah, I'm good. Got anything in here? No, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and move this around. Okay, on to the story. I think. Is there like a... Let me check. Is there a second half of this village over here? Am I just imagining things? I feel like this place is usually bigger than, than I think it is. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it's just one screen. Okay. There's like... Oh wait, is there something over here? Oh. They're not here. Strange, we looked all over the village and we can't find any trace of them at all. Everyone says they've practically vanished without a trace. It's so strange. You don't think they... They wouldn't have gone to the lighthouse. Yeah, you're probably right. Puelli is going to be upset that we didn't follow his order to free them, though. He was clear about it, too. When Felix returns, the proc set his parents free. Oh, snap. Felix took the trouble of coming back for his parents, and now they're just gone? Puelli ordered me to set your parents free. That's why I'm here now. The only thing is, no one is, no one else is here. I don't know where your parents went. Snap. Parents were staying in here, and now they've gone missing. Anything up here? No? Okay. We can't wait for Agadio and his men any longer. If we wait much longer, the, this wind and snow will make it impossible to reach the lighthouse. I'm going to the lighthouse. Will any of you come with me? Poile, I can't let you go on your own. If something were to happen to you, who would lead our village? Please, you must let us go in your stead. How can you, how can you expect to accomplish what Agadio and Karst could not? They may have been more powerful than any of us, but we can't just stand by. They're not coming back, just like Saturos. You have to let us try. I can't. I can't allow it. Listen to your elder. He speaks wisely. I'm speaking to you too, Puele. If Agadio and Karst cannot do the task, how can you, a single man, hope to do it? What are you saying? If we stand around debating, our town is doomed for certain. We can't risk sacrificing any more lives. So we must sit here and wait for a miracle to come? Oh, so we must sit here and wait for a miracle to come, is what I should have said. You, Felix, it's you. I'd heard that you had returned to us. You looked so much stronger than when you left. Yeah, I've raised about like 30 levels or something. It seems he has brought some allies with him. Yes, I am Creighton. My name is Isaac. Isaac? Isn't that... That is the name of the one Agadio said had killed Satros and Minardi. Whoa, Isaac, stop that. <laughs> you are correct, but Isaac had reasons for fighting them. Satro Seminardi had invaded Vale, stolen its sacred treasure, triggered a volcano. You cannot blame Isaac for pursuing them and fighting to, re to regain what they had stolen. Mm. We only wanted to stop them. We didn't think they'd fight us to the death. They flung themselves into the opening of Venus Lighthouse's beacon. That's true, they did kind of finish themselves off. They were conscious when they before they fell in. Uh, because they, they spoke stuff. Uh, did Satro Smirnardi put up a good fight? Oh, yeah. I bet you thought you didn't stand a chance against them, huh? Uh-huh. You were probably really tense the whole time. Yeah. Satro and Minardi had a job to do. That was all. If I'd been in your shoes, I'd have done the same thing. I can't blame you. Sweet. And in the end, you were stronger than they were. You should be proud of that. Oh, cool. I am sad that they lost their lives in their quest, but there was no avoiding it. What has happened cannot be undone. We should cooperate and find a way to save Wayard. We understand that Agadio and Karst have made for Mars Lighthouse and have not returned. Then all that remains for us is to wait until Gaia Falls carries us all to our doom. 
It seems that Mars Lighthouse is as dangerous as all the rest. We have only a few soldiers remaining, and none who can make the climb to the Airy. Only Satyrus and perhaps Agadio were strong enough to reach the top. And none of them can help us now. You think you can, we can do it? Heck yeah. I agree, Felix. We've climbed three lighthouses already. What's one more? Let's go to Mars Lighthouse. They've proven themselves strong enough. I say we trust it in Felix to do the rest. This is an unexpected turn of events, but yes, I think you can light the lighthouse. Off to Mars Lighthouse. Let's go, Felix. Come on, Isaac. There is one thing that I don't want you to forget. In order to light the beacon at Mars Lighthouse, you will need to have the Mars Star. Ah, and Agadio and Karst have the Mars Star now. You must find Agadio and Karst, and you must take the Mars Star from them. Thank you for your help. The future of Wayard rests in your hands. Wow, so we have to go find Agadio and Karst in the lighthouse, get the star from them, if they give it willingly or not, and then we gotta go light the lighthouse. But I mean, we're not gonna do all that today because we're gonna do the secret dungeons and stuff first, but man, I really do like Mars Lighthouse. I think it's my favorite of all of them. Um, I think I need to go the other way first, actually. I think I really like the music here. And I don't know, I guess I guess the puzzles are cool, but I don't know. I I just like this one best for some reason. I don't know if it's just cuz it's like the end of the game and it's like the stakes are higher. But I do think I like the music. Wow. Oh yeah, because there was a phoenix in this in this battle, so I got tons of experience points. It's also probably the longest lighthouse for sure. I mean, there's this whole section to get to Agadio and Karst, and then there's a whole section to get to the actual top of the lighthouse. But um, we'll see how far we can get in the next few minutes. I mean, I do want these episodes to be a bit longer just because, you know, we're at the end of the game. I don't want to kill the momentum by having shorter episodes. So this episode will go a bit longer than 30 minutes, but um, when we get to, like, a major point... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm in the wrong place again. I think... Can I do anything with this right now? Yes. Okay, I'm not in the wrong place. Should I just retreat? Is that the fastest way back? I mean, that was back at the entrance. But I probably wasn't too far away. It might be like the same amount of time whether I retreat or not. Maybe that's a little faster. I don't know. I haven't watched the speedrun of this game yet. I finished the speedrun of the first game. And, um, yeah, they basically run from all fights uh, until you get to the end of the game. You can't run at the end of the game just because the enemies are too strong. Uh, and you probably need to level up to uh, fight the boss anyway. Uh, but, yeah, they run through most of the game, avoiding battles. And uh, they only get certain djinn which will help them to fight against the final boss. Um, I'm going to have to be very careful about how I move this statue because uh, I don't want to get hit by the fire. And... If I get hit by the fire, I'll get knocked down. And man, there's going to be some slowdown because of how slow I move the statue. But if I use move synergy, then everything else freezes. So I guess this is technically faster, but it does require me to use synergy points. Hmm. Oh, there's like little 
spots down below where the floor kind of uh, juts out from the, the rest of the ground, so I guess I could take a break there if I really wanted to. Oh yeah, I can have my backup characters cast healing spells. Um, am I going the right way? I don't think I am. I don't think I can do anything there. Whoops. That is not the synergy I want on that shortcut. Absorb some synergy points. Although the music does kind of reset after every battle. That's kind of not cool. Or a Halkin. Another um, blacksmith item. Ooh. But yeah, the, the speedrun of Golden Sun 1, you end up at like level 18 or something like that. It's really low. Um, oh, I'm going to want Pound for now because of the way that this works. I think if I'm good at my timing, I can uh, run up this without having to do all the pillars from the side. So in this room there's a bunch of pillars that are like blocking hideaway spots from the um, big fireball that's coming down the center of the, the room every so often. I think if I just run up and use the pound uh, shortcut I should be fine. But yeah, there's openings on the sides where you're really supposed to um, you're supposed to walk up the sides of the room and hit the pillars that way instead of running up the middle like I just did, but it's faster that way, so. Man, I am not at full health or full synergy. Oh, wait, move that over. Now I am going to save here because, wow, I haven't saved this whole time. I'm going to save here because, you know, the djinn could run away and I don't want to, depending on, well, I guess if I go up, I could reset the room pretty quickly. Um, but I don't have to if I do this. Uh, let's go ahead and use some stuff that can stun it if possible. Yeah, let's use Molt. Why not? That's going to make it lose its turn. Maybe paralyzed? Nope. That's the thing where the enemy hits himself. Alright, he's stunned. Everybody attack. Bam. Balm. What's that do? Revive all downed allies. Interesting. I wonder what the odds of that are. Like, it's, there's no way it's 100%, you know? Here we go. Felix got the teleport lapis. Um, let me give this lucky metal to Piers. Uh, sure, I guess Jenna can hold it. Why not? Okay, so the teleport thing now. We can use these um, symbols on the ground to basically teleport to other specific places in the dungeon. Um, I don't think there's anything up there. 
And do I want to go back this way? I feel like I do. I think there's like another teleport thing over here. Ooh, that's nice. That unleashment was pretty cool. Oh, this is why those cutout spots are here. But also, the teleport move is going to allow us to fast travel on the world map. So that's what it's really good for. It's also, those symbols on the ground are also going to be in, it's, that's how we get into some of the other um, optional dungeons now. We basically just unlocked the access to the other um, optional dungeons. I must be able to do something else in this room back here. Because there's no way... There we go. I don't know why I didn't see that earlier. Yeah. It's like there's, there's, there's no way uh, uh, to get on the other side of that. Ugh. Thinking I still had Blaze shortcut on. Just cracks the ice, and then we gotta go use burst. And that's where our teleport spot's going to be, I believe. Hmm. Jenna's got full synergy points. Let's go ahead and let her uh, heal everybody. When I entered this dungeon, I was like missing health and synergy points. Now I'm like kind of regaining it. Um, burst. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, he tried to run away. Oh, region dance. Oh, it's going to be the ox thing, yeah. Oh, wait. Sheba and Isaac are both faster than... Oh, no, wait. Felix isn't slow. Whoa. Yeah, that's a level up. Anytime there's a phoenix in one of these, I'm probably going to level up. Uh, let's go ahead and have uh, Jenna heal again. Can I reveal and then teleport? Ooh, um, this is gonna be a race. I don't know if I need to do any... I probably need to do some preparation. Hold on. Because I'm going to be racing through there. There's going to be a lot of stuff to hit. I'm probably going to want to put Pound back on as a shortcut. Yeah, because I don't want to go this way. Uh, do I need to do... Oh, there's a treasure chest up here. Valkyrie mail. Okay, so I don't really need it for preparation, but rather... Um, huh. Defense up. I guess my current armor is more for attack power. I think defense is a little more important than attack power. Because, you know, with defense increase, you're still alive. Uh, attack power increase can only just make things go faster. Boost HP recovery? I think maybe she probably should keep that. Let's give this to Garrett. Dragon skills is probably old, right? Yeah. Okay. And then if um, you get hit by the fireball... If, like if you can't make it to the end in time you get knocked down to a little room I believe I don't think there's anything in there and that's just where those stairs lead you out of I 
I believe max HP in this game, I think it's 1,999. I want to say the first game didn't have that limit, but I think this game does. Looking good so far. Oh. Dragon Head's catching up. And we are in the clear. Don't even need that last dip. That's right there. Let's go ahead and watch it. Yeah, that last dip, not necessary. It could have just been a straight line. Then bam. Oh, there's a teleport thing. Don't want to use it? I don't know. Probably not. This is probably a way back from some other, like, trap. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Should not have uh, fallen for that. Um, oh. Although now is a good opportunity for me to move this in the way, so it can't do that to me again. So yeah, my, my memory there was like, huh, I probably should not take that. I didn't remember exactly why, but I felt like I shouldn't have done this first. So now we're safe. I think we're almost there. Ooh. There's a new weapon in here. No, that's not it. Um, I don't think you can jump off of ice, so that slide to the right would not have worked. There we go, the soul blade. We'll go ahead and let Felix take that one. Uh, I believe that means Purgatory is given to Isaac. The Viking Axe is pretty cool, but Purgatory is also cool. Wow. A stun Bolt. It's a cool weapon, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be using it now. Nothing in here, I think. Whoops. Oh, shoot. I just skipped the unleashment. All right. We'll have to... We'll have to I'll, be, I'll be more careful next battle. You guys, you guys gotta see the full thing. I wonder if it's like a guaranteed unleashment. Like the first time you use a new weapon in battle. That'd be pretty cool. Although, I don't think it's a thing for Golden Sun 1. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I just don't feel like it is. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Bam! Basically jumps up and hits a meteor or the sun. I mean, it's not the sun. It's too small to be the sun. But he just jumps up and, and hits a meteor down into the enemy. It's pretty cool. Um, I believe... Oh, not yet. Okay. Oh, yes. This is the boss. Not the boss of the whole dungeon, but a boss. Um, I think... This is actually a good stopping point. We've been running a while. We got the teleport stone. So next time we will fight these dragons. And then uh, we'll probably leave to go. Well, yeah, yeah, well, uh, we'll see. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to go through the rest of the dungeon to get maybe some more forging type weapon type items. Um, or maybe we'll just... We'll just leave and go after some of the extra dungeon stuff. But yeah, uh, whoop, that is not right. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll just stop now. So yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.